Hey boys and girls, welcome to Art Recycled with Mrs. Hollemeyer. Today we are going to learn how to draw video game landscapes or backgrounds. As I was playing some video games this week, I was looking at the features in the landscapes and I was thinking they're not that hard to draw. They're basically rectangles, half circles, triangles. And then what we see in a lot of these landscapes, boys and girls, and by the way, landscape means a picture of the land, we see patterns. <clears throat> so as you can see in these land features, features here that your video game character would jump between, we see different types of lines that repeat over and over and over again. When something repeats over and over and over again, we call it a pattern. So boys and girls, in this picture, you can see that this is a pattern. It has the same images and symbols that are repeating over and over in the same way. But in this picture, boys and girls, things are repeating again and again, but they're not repeating in the same way. And so that means that this has a repetition, but it is not a pattern. All right, boys and girls, to do this project, all you really need is a piece of notebook paper, white paper, crayons, and a pencil. You can always trace over your pencil lines with black crayon. However, I'm gonna add in some extra supplies that aren't needed, but you can use them if you want. I'm gonna add in a Sharpie, because I like black Sharpie lines, and I'm also gonna add in a ruler. The ruler is gonna help me get straight lines when I draw my rectangles today. So boys and girls, I'm gonna go through drawing this. If I go too fast, you can always pause the video, and I'm just gonna draw with Sharpie today just so that this goes a little bit faster and you can um, see better what I'm doing. All right, boys and girls, to start off, I'm gonna draw two high platforms for my video game character to jump between. So I'm gonna draw two double vertical lines here. We're gonna draw a set here. And then I'm gonna draw another set and I don't wanna make them the same height. I wanna make them different heights. There we go. Once I have those drawn, I'm going to make one into a mushroom by drawing a straight line across like that and then drawing a curved line on top. And I'm gonna make the other one a rectangle platform by just drawing a straight line across and then turning up, coming around, and down. There we go. So now, boys and girls, I'm gonna draw my first line pattern. I'm gonna draw the water down at the bottom. So I am just going to draw a wavy line for the water, a line that waves up and down like this. I'm gonna draw it a few times. Now boys and girls, if you want this to be a little bit more complicated, you can make the top couple of lines different. So this is kind of an easy way to draw water. A harder way to draw water is to start on the edge, curl down and curl in, and you're gonna get something that looks like a wave. Touch that one, curl down, curl in. Now if this is too hard, you don't have to do this, boys and girls, if you're a younger student. Remember, you can try it, and if it, it doesn't work, it's okay. You don't have to do it, right? All right, so now I'm going to draw some land masses on the side for my video game character to jump to. So I'm going to touch the water and draw up, curve and go over. And then the same thing over here, I'm going to touch the top of the water where those curly lines are. I'm gonna go straight up, curl and turn over the other way. And now, boys and girls, I'm going to draw some line patterns that are inside of these. I'm going to draw some bumpy lines that go down. This is another line, by the way, that you could have done for the water. If you flip it the other way, it looks like mountains. All right. So then inside my mushroom, boys and girls, I'm going to make a pattern of polka dots. Inside this platform, I'm going to make a checkered pattern by drawing diagonal lines that go up. And then I'm going to go the other way and draw diagonal lines that go down. And now I'm gonna add some hills. So my hill is basically a half oval. So I'm gonna go up, curve around, come back, 
and inside of this, I'm going to draw some zigzag lines as a pattern. And maybe I'll even touch this one and make another one going off the page. All right, boys and girls. So now I'm going to draw a brick pattern. So up here, I'm gonna draw a square. And a brick pattern is drawn by drawing lines that go across or horizontally. And then I'm gonna draw straight lines up and down, but not in the same place in each row like that. That looks like a brick. Now, boys and girls, I'm gonna stop here. This is the easy version of this. If you want to keep it easy for a younger student, then boys and girls, why don't you just try coloring these things in with just one color. Uh, if you wanna make it a little more complicated, then you can do the coloring and color patterns inside of these things as well. And you can also add in your favorite video game characters to also make it a little bit more complicated. If you don't know how to draw them, look them up on your iPad or iPhone and Google Images. So boys and girls, I hope you had fun today designing your video game landscape. I hope to see you next time on Art Recycled and I hope you had fun learning about patterns. All right, bye.